Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Now, uh, welcome back to cruise control. Welcome back to this miserable fucking little journey we're on. So, okay. I want to go down. I forget which way that is. I think... I think I'm going to go this way. Oh yeah, that's right. Clarissa, Clarissa quote-unquote, killed herself. But then she was fine and she was gone. So, you know, I have no idea what's happening. This is, uh, this is a pretty fucked up game, you guys. I'm enjoying it a lot, but damn, it's, uh, it's pretty intense. Oh no. Mayday! May! Oh, crap. This is it. Uh, okay. That's right, I'm gonna go this way. This is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not... Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? I had to take it. I'm Alex, sorry. Come on. That feels Columbus like it's probably not doing too great right now. I was like two thirds a joke. Come on. <sighs> I only meant it a little bit. Uh, yeah, we want to go to the tower, right? For sure. Man, listen to this music. This is funky. I'm kind of digging it. On the trumpets come in? Nice. Hmm, so, what's gonna happen hey, next? Hey, I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think yeah. you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me, it's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. <laughs> yeah, no, she's... I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she, like, freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I found, like, 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged to, and I only spent half- Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio's been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second Oh, round. god damn it, Ren. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's just oh, about to start doing its thing. You fucking we, idiot. Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. How you know what? If so I play stupid? this again, I'm going for Calissa first, because Ren's a fucking idiot. This? You seriously took another one? Oh my god. It was, like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. Oh. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down... You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not... That's not nice. Oh, I'm done being nice. God. Done. You hear me? Finito. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh... Sorry I, I missed a day here. Um, In order to make up for it, I'm probably just going to upload on, uh... I'm just going to upload through the weekend. Instead of just doing weekdays. Um, he had some stuff came up on Thursday. And it kept me from getting uh, this and my Tales of Zestiri episode done on time. So so we'll get extra content in either way. Just going to be... I don't know. The schedule for this has always been a little wonky to begin with. I, I didn't... I should have recorded a bunch before I started airing it. I made the mistake of recording right before I post, and I'm doing that right now, even, so... Whoops. Let's check on Nona. Let's see how she's doing. I hope she's okay. She seems alright. I mean, she is friends with Clarissa, but we're not... No one's perfect. This thing doesn't work. Not yeah, anything. we know. I'm getting something, but it's like... I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, hey, that's still sorry, was, like, somewhat impressive. Weird earlier, but hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like out there. Uh, yeah, we have. Look, we tuned into something in the cave, and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And uh, ghosts. Yes. Oh, oh, I got it. 
This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Do you know? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house manner or whatever it is is behind a huge gate. I mean, you want to investigate it anyway because no, I know. she's apparently the key to this whole thing. Somewhat readily available. My sister Allie worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident burnout. You know, that's fair, hey, Jonas. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay. Well, I mean... Jonas kind of does have a point here. Yep. Like, do you know there's a boat, or is this like when you knew the teachers kept liquor in the lounge? <laughs> Come on. I was like 13 when I thought they all got drunk at lunch. This is a real thing. There's a boat at her dock. Ren, Are you Kenny from Walking Dead? It's completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Okay, let's on, let's calm Jonas, down now. This is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault. Certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious. Put your dicks back in your pants. Seats, that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going okay, on. Okay, fuck off, Ren. I mean, I just stuck up for you. Grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a, he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right Gee, now. Gee, maybe you shouldn't have the found the fucking pot brownie. He's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking about? You have no idea if there's a boat down there still. Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Oof. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. So I have to pick so one of them to take with me? You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Oh, yeah, man. I'll totally go. It's my... Like no, a brilliant idea or you whatever. fucking pothead! You are not. Start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh, meathead. Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes. Keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming with you? Nona. Yep. Wanna come with me? Fuck the boys. What? Really? I mean. I guess. Why this are you isn't, making me shack up with this guy? It's my friggin' plan. We've been plan. together the entire night. It's only night. my idea. Why switch it up? <laughs> why? Wow. This is why. Easiest question I've been asked all night. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah. This no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no. Nobody's happy with this. I don't know. I'm kind of happy to get away from you, idiots. Uh. Hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. Also, I haven't got to really spend much time with Nona, so I kind of want to journey with her for a bit. So back to Main Street, huh? Oh, stop being so grumpy, you jerk asses. Now, don't get depressed and eat any more brownies, okay? I still need you tip-top, alright? Good luck with the thing, Alex. Oh, fuck off. I still need you, Jonas, okay? So keep your knee pads on, mentally speaking. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Oh man, these guys are gonna just kill each other, aren't they? Or we're gonna get back and they're gonna be best friends. One or the other. Someone's gonna die, or they're gonna, like, be hugging it out. Or maybe they'll discover each other and they'll be doing more than just hugging. They'll be doing that special hug that my parents say I'm not allowed to see. Until I'm older. Even though I'm 31. Anyway, Nona, let's go! Let's slowly walk down these stairs while I think about the awkward things I just said. Let's linger on them.
Yeah, I don't Nona seems cool. Like she's been pretty subdued compared to all the other characters. She's probably the most I don't know, introverted of the cast, maybe, is the right way to put it. I don't wait for her to catch up. I don't wanna I wanna leave her behind. She's my girl bro. Hashtag girl bros. Yeah, so we want to... I guess we want to leave this map first. Okay, so... I guess that answered my question of what happens after we finish the search for the missing party members section of the game. Now we gotta go find a key and then go find a boat. And then Kenny will drive us off into the promised land where there's no zombies. Or something. Or he'll go crazy and then die. And then show up alive in the sequel and then die again, maybe? You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back. Behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you'd remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch... You get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. Oh? So... Wait, if you don't really go to, like, class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. Ballet, that's interesting. I think... Oh wait, no, I'm not going the right way. I want to go... I want to so go that, right. Really? Oh, and don't tell anyone? But my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. Oh, I, I made a friend. Town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Ugh. Sorry you had to spend part of your birthday week dealing with all of this. Oh, that's no big deal. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa, and... Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when... No. Actually, sorry. Never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. No, come on. I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency. It's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. Aww. And we stayed up and nice. watched all my favorite movies. Wait, Clarissa did that? Clarissa. Our Clarissa. She's a good person. Alex, really. It's just... It's like she's had a pebble in her boot for a while that she just can't seem to get rid of. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. Yeah, how about that? We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I may not like her, but I'm not going to leave her to die. At least no more than I already have. What is this thing? I assume that's going to be something for later. Alright, so... Heading all the way back down to where we started. It's kind of funny because I just did this in my Tales of Zestira LP. Heading back to the opening area. Kind of funny how that works out. Well, that's cool. I wonder what the dialogue's like uh, if I take either of the other guys. Um, feels like there's a decent amount of replay value in this game. He, or at least kind of the desire to do a second run seems pretty strong at least. What do we got here? Oh, okay. We need the key for that. But we're supposed to be able to find that over on Main Street. So let's give it a look. Those running animations are kind of weird. It's hard to put my finger on why, just something about them seems off. Okay, here we go. I can't I can't remember if we even came here before. I guess we didn't, because we got teleported. We got went into the caves and then we got ported somewhere else. So this is actually a new area. What do we got here? Can I go inside? Nope. 
But I am going the right way, right? Yeah, I totally am. That's some interesting bass going on in this music. It's, it's kind of unsettling, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I guess I want to go straight left. I'm going to see what's down here. I've been here already? Is this the caves? Ooh, I'm not going to be able to get back up if I go that way. Um, you know what? Let's move on for now. If I come back this way... Something tells me I'm going to have to go down there eventually. And oh shit, I forgot to turn my friends list off. <laughs> Whoops. Someone's playing the Street Fighter beta. And that game's out soon too. February is a crazy, crazy month. That new Paper Mario slash Mario and Luigi game just came out. That looks interesting. XCOM's coming. Fire Emblem's coming. Street Fighter's coming. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're, we're close. Whatever you say, Alex. You've got protagonist powers, so I'll, I'll believe in you. Yeah, I guess, uh... Let's, yeah, let's take this chance to look around. There's gotta be some interesting stuff over here. I don't even really remember this Carissa, stuff. Oh. What are you... How did she get up there? What are you doing? Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Clarissa! What? Alex! Oh, dear. Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, do you know what's happening? Is she... Is she gonna be okay? Oh, God, not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh... Clarissa! I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Time to get out the radio! Uh... Nona's not gonna like this. This is gonna make her real mad. Whoa. What? Uh... You think you can control me? Uh-oh. Clarissa. I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... This... Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you... Uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're... They've, like, perverted this... Ghost. Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the nightlight on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Ooh. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Do you remember okay? what just happened? Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? There's been like time disturbances or something, and I think that's what's been teleporting people around. So, and we just had one. Time disturbances? So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this oh, was come happening. on, Clarissa. Wait, Knock it it's off. Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, 
and your new stepbrother. Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Ah, fuck off. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world, and she likes to take it out on me, and, and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a... No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right you're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa... forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because uh... of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Oh, she. Nona, don't, just don't think of me like. I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the outs in free. Hey. Whoa. Uh. Hey, do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like, anything that just happened, right? Um, to what... Anything are you referring exactly? Uh, Clarissa being possessed and shrieking at me would probably be the big kahuna here. I, huh, I sort of can picture Clarissa being like weird or something, but I don't know, it's kind of a blur to be honest. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get no, into. No, no, you're like right strangely so chill about this stuff, but I guess you're just the most mature character here. Fuck you, Clarissa, though. That's bullshit. We're gonna like, try- we're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key? Yep, yeah, that's the plan. Yep, this isn't budging. Um... I don't know about that. I think, yeah... I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. Alright, Nona. <sighs> okay. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. <laughs> Alright. Well, there's a box. There's a cabinet. Let's look in the uh, box. I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think think but it's like there's way more stations on the dial oh Ooh, neat. oh shit there's another one it says they're wall radios wave assisted lock whatever that means oh duh it says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here so they're like id tags or something it must work for the gate to adler's house uh, okay cool great Ooh, wait wait here's like a wait what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just want to... Okay, here. To who... Hmm. Okay. Whom it should concern. This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control? Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? 
Let me finish then. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Huh? W what the hell is she talking about? It's like if we use these new radios, we can tune into 140.1 and hear like instructions that will lead us to buried stuff. I don't know. Weird. To whosoever finds the material. Know so that this is how you're supposed to find the collectibles? And ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Oh, Christ. This is... This is like literally a treasure map. Well, kinda. It's neat, but I don't know. We should probably just get home before we, like, die. Adler letter. Oh my god, the, the Kamaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've we been lied to all this time. The, US, U, the USS Walter Roy, a destroyer escort, sunk the USS Canalong with friendly fire on October 25th, 43. It had held a developmental nuclear reactor in its belly, and had been sent out weeks earlier as a test of its capabilities. Relatively few even know of its existence, which tripled the basic confusion when the submarine's communications had been cut. No one side of a handful of us ever know the truth. I have discovered later that a weapons technician of the Walter Roy had been at Francis Sadler's wedding. Sadler was an engineer on the Kanaloa. I don't know why, but it's strange to me. Ooh, very interesting. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to. What was it, 104? Oh, it was 140. I thought, hmm. Well, great. I already forgot, apparently. Fantastic. Uh, fuck. I'm actually kind of... Lighthouse? Is there a lighthouse here? I don't remember there being a lighthouse. Oh wait, yeah, up over there. Okay, I guess I'll give it a shot. Huh. I don't know if that was the right frequency or if that was just something random. But it'll stop by the lighthouse just to check. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I want to go this way. Man, that whole thing with Clarissa, though, that's bullshit. Like... Like, fuck off. <laughs> oh, wait. Cliffs? I don't want to go to the cliffs, do I? Is that what I want? Or, I guess, yeah. My memory's a little foggy now. Okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. It's cold, that's why. The sun uh... is kinda out, but when you're in the shade, it drops to like 50. No, it doesn't. Hey, Michael, oh, we no. didn't bring drinks. No. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knickknack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. Relax. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez. You're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Where's... 
Where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... <sighs> Never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to I be get to watch him drown. Flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it uh. did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but I thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah. Um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. This is fucked up. I hate this. This is the worst. I don't like where this is going. Why are you doing this to me? Game. Video game. Oxenfree, let's talk. I know what you're going to put me through. And I really don't want to go through it. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. Time to throw <laughs> some oh, rocks. God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. Hey, it's this ball. So... Uh, <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... Uh, forget it. It's alright. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like... I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their... girlfriend, or whatever. So... I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, totally understand. And, yeah. Oh, this is so awkward. Do stuff, you know. Fuck. <laughs> Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him, too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting. I'm entertaining. See? Even he can't keep it locked up. Okay, all right. I was joking. Don't salt the earth now. So, I'm gonna kick this ball. I actually really want to. I'm gonna keep kicking this ball. Something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too. Sure, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. Yeah, about that. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I, I know how this goes. I have insider information. Let's just call it, okay? Look. Just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to, too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's... Okay, Tuesday night... I want to know. ...to a comedy club for open mic. She me seems stage, awful. ...and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so... Yeah, that, that sounds, sounds terrible. awful. Like, I think I've had stress dreams more relaxing than that. I guess you had to be there then. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, God, do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay, I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. No, that was not endorsement, no, but you're your jacket. own person. I should ask for it back. 
I don't like my new one. Oh, Feels no. like I got shoes on my arms or something. Oh no. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Oh. Uh, am I at least not gonna have to watch the drowning? Because I don't really want to watch the drowning. The drowning sounds depressing and terrible. Kind of like Clarissa. Clarissa's continued Alice, existence. Are you. Alright, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a. I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. Oh god. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Nona, I, I just saw. I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he. Was it like a. I don't. I don't know what to call it. A vision? I was. It was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was. It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Uh. Yeah? Awkward silence? Okay! That's gonna be a good place to end this, I guess. So, uh, next time on Cruise Control, uh. Hopefully Ren and Jonas haven't murdered each other by the time we get back. I guess we'll find out soon. Tomorrow, I suppose. Yeah, probably tomorrow. I'll probably do this through the weekend. So yeah, uh, once again, thanks uh, for watching, you guys.